What's up guys, just a quick video to show you the fourth axis camera stabilizer I built. If you're familiar with camera stabilization and three axis gimbals, I'll try to keep this short and sweet. If not, quickly, three axis gimbals are electronic motorized devices you can attach your camera to and they'll help to smooth out and stabilize the pan, tilt, and roll axis of the camera, hence your three axis. These work great, very popular right now. You can get some super smooth cinematic shots with them. Highly recommended. The older tried and true stabilization system would be something like a Steadicam. Probably even more effective than the electronic gimbals, um, but they come at a cost of very bulky, heavy system, um, very steep learning curve, and they are quite expensive. Uh, so what some people and one company that I know have been trying to do is combine the best of both worlds, your electronic gimbal with your mechanical Steadicam. That is what I've built here. Um, I own a three axis gimbal and I mount my GH4 on that and the gimbal will then be mounted to this. This will stabilize the fourth axis or your vertical up and down movement. Uh, another company called Turbo Ace has come up with a very similar design. They call it the Jockey Motion. You can attach one of their All Steady gimbals to it or the DJI Ronin gimbal can also be attached to it. Uh, still the same concept. It is a Steadicam arm concept. You have one Merlin arm instead of two. And back here where you would normally be attaching this to a vest or harness, you have a handlebar with hand grips here. So you just pick this up instead of mounting it to yourself. And where the other Merlin arm would be attached to this one, you just have a mounting plate where you can put your three axis gimbal which will hold your camera. So now you have a gimbal that will take care of the three axis, the pan tilt and roll, and this Merlin spring loaded arm which will help to take care of the vertical up and down movement. Uh, this works really well. I've had some really good results with it. Um, super smooth. It is silent. Um, it's really not much of a difference between this and the Jockey Motion. Of course they charge $1500 for theirs. Uh, which is why I ultimately built my own in the first place. Um, but I think they have an extra knob here that moves this spring up and down, supposedly helps you to balance the gimbal and camera a little better when you're mounting it. Uh, they also have some shocks on the sides to help dampen the spring and stop it from bouncing. I've seen some videos of the jockey motion without the shocks and it does seem to bounce and never settle. Um, I haven't had that problem with this. It does seem to settle pretty well on its own, and you'll see that in a little while. Um, that's really the only differences I can think of between the two. Um, I will give you guys a quick little walk around of this uh, so you can get a closer look, uh, and then I will show you some video of the gimbal and camera mounted on front, and then I'll show you some comparison video taken from my GH4 both handheld with just the gimbal and then the gimbal camera on this so you can see the difference that this vertical stabilizer makes. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you liked what you saw here, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see some more videos from me in the future, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.